Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today we are finally back in Brindleton Bay and we are working on the 64 by 64 lot and this is a build for my Let's Build Brindleton Bay series. It's been a few months since I've done the last video for that series. Um, although not really. I mean... I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been keeping track, but it's been a while since I've done the last episodes for this series and it felt right to continue this because I do still want to fill in the entire Brindleton Bay with only my builds and today is the day that we're starting up everything. So I decided to start with this 40 by 40 size lot here in Bundleton Bay. It's gonna be of course a traditional style. Um, I'm gonna make all the houses kind of similar but not really the same, you know, it, but it needs to really fit in very well together. That's like the whole idea of making um, an entire world. <laughs> you need to make houses that kind of go together um so that is what we are doing today i am working in the wrong safe this is not my let's build brindleton bay safe so you won't see the house that i've built for the series across the streets until later on when i noticed that i'm in the wrong safe and i move saves into the right one so a little bit like halfway through um, landscaping the backyard you will see if you look across the street you will see the light wood manor or I think yeah I think it's called the lightwood manor that I've made for this series it's on the 30 by 40 across the street a gorgeous dark wooden family home for a veterinarian couple I had a lot of fun building that as well I really utilized all the cats and dogs uh, items in that build and I will link that here up in the screen if you haven't seen that already um so yeah really excited about this series and I have actually been sitting down um, these last couple of days really and I've been writing down everything um, that I want to do for the channel. Um, like you guys know, I have been going through a yeah not I want I don't want to say this uh, severe depression, but it, it was a very, very hard depression i don't know i don't want to make the like, sound like over exaggerated but it was a very hard time and in that time i didn't really work on the channel i i started up plans and then i didn't finish them and i was just all over the place and now i actually went and i sit down i i actually bought a notebook for it <laughs> i was so proud of myself i bought a little notebook and i wrote down everything that I want for this channel, all the series that I want to keep going on, uh, all the new things that I want to try out. Um, that is what I've been working on these last couple of days. And I knew that I wanted to continue um, the Let's Build Brindleton Bay World Series. That is something that I really enjoyed. Um, and also the other world series. So the Let's Build Oasis Springs, the Granite Falls, the Willow Creek. All of those I'm gonna continue and the Jungle Adventure one as well because I had so much fun with that series. Also the Let's Build Modern Mansion series. I'm, I'm actually almost finished with that one. I think 
three or four more episodes and we're there. But I just went and write down everything um, that I want to focus on for the channel. And I also made some new plans on what I want to do. Because uh, as much as I love doing house building videos, I love doing speed builds. Um, I, it's, it's not boring, but I just say it's going to be a little bit one-sided so I I also was brainstorming on what other content can I add except for um, speed build so of course I'm gonna do a let's build a house series uh, those I enjoy so much I actually like them a little bit more than speed builds because I like the interaction and it really takes a long time but because it takes a long time it it just makes the houses better in my opinion so I, I love doing the let's build series those are definitely gonna continue um i also really like the 100 baby challenge i've been back and forth on that <laughs> uh, a couple of days and i decided to still keep that on a hiatus and come back to that later um, in the summer vacation and see where my mood is at because uh i don't know I still love that and a part of me really really wants to continue that because I had so much fun. I really had. Um, but the ratings weren't that high. The few counts were like really low. Uh, the likes and dislikes weren't that that great. Which I get. I'm not a really great let's player to be honest. I'm not a Deligressi. I'm more of a... Uh, Mona. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Mona. <laughs> um, I do a Let's Plays as a Mona, as me, and it's it's kind of weird to see them, but I still had a lot of fun, so maybe I'm gonna revamp the 100 Baby Challenge, you know, maybe edit them more down, make them more interesting for you guys. That is something that I'm still uh, brainstorming about, so... Yeah, that is what I was doing the last couple of days, so that's why there weren't any builds. Um... But still, yeah, I'm hoping that you guys are gonna enjoy uh, this little speed build that I did work on in the meantime. So as you guys can see, the shape is there. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I also enjoyed the landscaping so, so much. The landscaping was my favorite part of this entire house. Usually it's more of the structure and then um, the colors and the roofing. Those are the parts that I love the most in building. But lately, I'm loving landscaping more. I, I think it's gorgeous. I, I love the free-handed landscaping that I'm doing right here. You know, um, I really got rid of the fencing. <laughs> Although that, no, that is definitely something that is gonna come back. Uh, maybe combine it with some free-handed landscaping. But I do feel that my landscaping technique has improved lately. Um... I don't know, I'm just really loving it. I'm loving the free for landscaping, free formed Mona, not free for. I don't know why I'm I'm having difficulties, but the free formed landscaping, I'm really enjoying it. So let me know in the comment section below the video what you guys think of it. Um but I really do like it. Um so for the front of the house, I'm going with um not an overly landscaped look, uh, but still enough to fill everything in. I love the little pathway that I'm making there on the side that is going to connect everything with the backyard. Um, and then here adding in some stones here and there, you know, on those key points uh, that looked a little bit weird. I just thought, let, let's add in some stones, some bushes to... Make it look a little bit more natural. And then here using the Cats and Dogs Expansion Pack uh, bush. I love that bush so much. I use that in like every build. <laughs> it's just so gorgeous. And then here using, um, I think that is a arch from, um, oh my gosh, what is it called again? The Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. I just knew I wanted an arch. But not the normal base game arch. Um, this one is just really nice with all the flowers. Um, so I added that in uh, there just for that really extra, you know, pizzazz. 
that I was going for and then landscaped it in with some trees, bushes, not trees, uh, flowers, bushes and stones. And I think it looks really lovely. Um, also here, blending the edges. <laughs> um, I just found um, if you don't blend your edge edges when you're using like terrain paint, um, it looks really harsh and unnatural. So that's why I'm blending the edges just so that it looks a little bit more natural. And then using, you know, these pinky and purple toned uh, trees. I think it ties in this house so gorgeous. And I think when Seasons is uh, finally gonna release, I think this house is gonna look amazing in fall time. You know, when the leaves are gonna fall or in winter time when everything is covered in snow. I think this is gonna be such a gorgeous uh, lot to play on. I'm so very excited about that. So here started with uh, furnishing the backyard. I'm gonna go with this very large porch area. Um, it just made sense to do that. Uh, and I'm also gonna end, add in a pond. I don't know, I just really enjoyed uh, the pond that I made in the Storybrook uh, mansion or manor. Um, I made like a pond with a little river connected to that. So I'm not making a river this time, I'm just adding in the pond. Um, but it looks so really nice, it looks so natural and it filled in, you know, that little spot that I actually didn't know what to do with. Um, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. Uh, we are now working on the little detailing, the spandrels, um, um, all of the, um, the, the floor trims, the roof trims and all that jazz, really trying to detail everything um, as much as possible. So that is what we are doing right now. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and for the inside of the house, by the way, for the inside of the house, uh, we are going with four bedrooms, three bathrooms, uh, a living room, of course, <laughs> um, a kitchen and dining separate. So there's a kitchen with a little dining area and there's also a formal dining room. Um, there's also a bar room and there's an office. So for the office, I actually had a lot of fun with making the office because for the office, I went with a private eye office area so it's like a private detective office so the sim that is living here she is a formal police officer she was on the force but they wrongfully uh, terminated her contract so they fired her uh, but she loved uh, fighting crime so much that she decided to become a private detective for people who didn't really want to go to the police you know with their cases or maybe they found that the police didn't really took you know enough time for the things uh, that were happening in their life maybe a missing persons case or a cold case or um, I don't know maybe robberies um, that went wrong and police department is like corrupt or something <laughs> that is something that this sim is gonna cover and of course she needed her own little office so I built a private detective's office in this house and I had a lot of fun doing it so I'm hoping that you guys uh, are gonna like it as well of course you saw it a tiny bit in the beginning of the video um, because I did like this house overview in the beginning and in the end you saw the office <laughs> um, so I'm hoping that you guys are gonna like it and I'm definitely loving um, the interior design of this house it's not um, really my cup of tea because I'm more of a modern type of girl but lately I have been really growing on the traditional side of this game. Um, I didn't really build that many traditional houses, um, but lately I've been loving them. I've been loving the traditional kind of shape of the houses, the interior design, the landscaping. Um, definitely more a in-between kind of girl now. <laughs> um, so yeah, definitely loving the traditional interior. And then for this house, I went for 
dark wooden colors and that is so out of my comfort zone because I'm a black, white and girl, a gray kind of girl. <laughs> you guys know me. I always go for black, white, gray and then maybe little pops of mustard yellow because that's my favorite color for interior design in real life. Um, so that is usually what I do when I uh, furnish a house. I think of what do I like and I implement it in my game. Um, but for these traditional houses, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone and I'm loving every bit of it. So uh, be prepared to see more traditional houses from me. I'm I'm really, really enjoying them. Um, so here landscaping, you know, that little section right there where we have the jungle gym. I keep it fairly simple. So I'm not adding in a... Uh, sandbox or anything like that and keeping it simple with a little bit of terrain paint a plant a tree and that's it you know there's so much already going on with the landscaping i wanted to keep it clean clean but still uh how do you say it uh very um landelijk <laughs> how do you say landelijk in english i think it's more of uh um Oh, oh my gosh, uh, rural, rural, no, that's not the word. If you know the word that I'm looking for, please comment it in the comment section below the video so that I can know it for uh, further builds <laughs> because I'm so bad at my, well, not bad at English, but some of the words are just lost to me. Uh, I, I just can't remember. Um, so what am I doing here? Oh, I'm, I'm making the back uh, a little bit darker. I really liked the dark tone that we had at the, uh, front of the house implemented here as well adding in all these little details so um, the pet door of course <laughs> a little seating area lots of plants and flowers everywhere um, definitely we'll see the sims living here do some um, flower arranging i think the husband is gonna be more of the uh, gardening type of person and then uh, the mom of the house is gonna be the private detective <laughs> um, and of course uh, they are gonna have like a whole load of kid children because I love playing with children in my game so there will be a teen girl uh, a kid either a boy or a girl uh, I think I'm gonna make it a boy but if you download this house, you can do whatever you want and there will be twin toddlers because you guys know I'm obsessed with twin toddlers <laughs> i would never want one in real life because one toddler I, I i did find out the hard way one toddler is all i can handle but in the sims i like them in pairs which is so weird um and if you looked across the street you could see the lightwood manor just a little a little hint um if you see me pan around and you you see the across of the street we are now in the right safe <laughs> you guys and it looks awesome I, I really like how this uh, entire neighborhood is coming together um, and I think for this neighborhood uh, we only need to fill in one more lot um, that is across the um, you know that town square with the very large statue where all the cats are hanging out I think that is the only lot that we need to furnish for this build uh, for this little neighborhood uh, and then for Cavalier Cove I think two more lots one yeah two more lots and then for um, and I also need to do one on the island as well um, and then with the dock area um, I only did like a veterinarian clinic so there are two vet clinics in this world there's one uh, where the docks are and then there's one in this neighborhood so uh, a traditional one here and then a more modern one on the other side and I think I'm gonna put all the more modern houses there where the docks are and also a few traditional kind of pops and such I don't know I'm gonna have a little bit of fun there so very excited about that so here started out with the kitchen uh, like I said in previous builds I love starting with the kitchens because when you know where the kitchen is gonna go you know where everything else is gonna go so I knew I wanted to connect the kitchen with the backyard and this is the only door connected to the backyard so of course the kitchen needed to go here i'm loving the dark wooden 
countertops that I'm using and then in combination with the backsplash tiling that I'm using from the Jungle Adventure game pack I'm loving that combination the colors work so well together um, and I also like the shape it's like this you know this L shape or yeah that corner shape that we're working with and then we have that little island in the middle and we had enough space for also a circular table there on the side so this is actually a very spacious kitchen uh, at first sight I was like oh my gosh Mona that is such a tiny kitchen how am I ever gonna fill this in but when I started furnishing it felt really spacious I mean there's even uh, there's even a place for a little buffet uh, cart. No, not a buffet cart. Uh, how do you call it? It's a buf buffet. Oh my gosh, I don't know the name in English again. We call it a buffet cost in Dutch. It's it's like a, a cabinet for all your fine china, you know, your fine silverware and, and, and plates and such. You know, the things that you get when you get married um those those kind of plates you you keep them there on display i have i have such a cabinet here in my house i actually uh inherited my uh my um oh my god i'm going to cry now no don't cry mona i inherited my um my grandmother her cabinet she had that cabinet for oh my gosh i need to think i think over 35 years so before I was born she had that cabinet and it started out as a very normal dark wooden cabin and she colored that cabin like every other year I think it, it has it has been blue it has been green it has been yellow um, every color that you can think of she painted that 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 cabinet she loved it so much that she uh, when she decided to change her interior design she would paint that piece of furniture instead of getting rid of it she would paint it so she painted that in so many colors and uh, when i got it it was actually white which was absolutely gorgeous because it fitted in so well with my interior of course the white colors that I'm using in my house is more of a real white and she made it more of a off-white so I actually need to paint it but I just really cannot get myself to you know to paint it because she painted it that color and I know when I'm gonna send it all down I'm gonna see all those colors that she painted that cabinet because she wasn't she, she wasn't the person that she she wouldn't send down anything she was like i'm painting this i'm just gonna uh, remove you know the shine and then i'm gonna go over it with a primer and then i'm gonna paint the color that i want that is how she did her thing you know <laughs> which is fine but i just know when i'm gonna start sending it down i'm gonna see all all the colors that she used and I'm gonna cry my heart out so I'm holding off you know I'm painting that but um yeah I have such a cabinet in my home and it's very precious to me so <laughs> I don't know why we are at this topic right now but that is just something that I was thinking about um anyways uh back to the build um as you guys can see the uh living room is taking shape I'm loving, uh, I'm loving the furnishing right here. I love the little fireplace with the bookcases on the sides. I am a little bit on the fence with the color. I do change the bookcase color to a more of a softer brown. This is more of a red kind of brown color. Um, and I wished that those bookcases actually came with more color swatches because now there are only three. That is not enough Sims team. I need more. I wish there was a white one, a black one, uh, a dark brown wooden color. But there's only like this very cheap light wooden color, you know, um, in like the early, no, in the late 90s. Um, all the furnishing then was in this very light, cheap wooden color. It was all the rage. Everyone had that color in their house <laughs> now it's more white and and grays and blacks and, and you know 
that kind of thing. Um, but I don't like that color. So you have that color as a recolor. You have that reddish brown and then a more of a lighter reddish brown so i wish there were more colors for that bookcase um so here starting with the um oh my gosh what is it called the bar room so this is my favorite room of the entire house i have to say you guys <laughs> that right now i love uh, how the bar turned out i love uh, the backsplash that I'm using from the Jungle Adventure game pack and then with that very dark wooden um, color that I'm using for the um, oh my god for the counters um, and then the all the bottles on the side I'm just loving it so much so that is this is this is my favorite room and um, this is the room there my where my sims will sit the most mommy and daddy they need their drink you know before bedtime um, they need to unwind uh, mommy's probably gonna think drink uh, a cocktail she's more of a cocktail kind of girl and daddy is gonna go for straight up whiskey <laughs> he's more of a risky on the rocks um kind of man so um yeah that, that is what they are gonna do in my game <laughs> they're gonna drink uh, of course when the children are asleep uh not when they're awake that is not responsible and they're only gonna keep it by maybe one or two three drinks stops that's it. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, anyways, what are we doing here? Oh, we're furnishing the uh, private detective's office. <laughs> so I'm loving this office so much uh, because of all the little clutter items that I'm using. So I'm using um, some of the... Um, uh, how do you call it? Get to work items. So I'm using the star from the police officers. Um, career or is it the police career I think it's called the police officer's career right so I'm using that also all the little wall decorations um, this board that I'm using is also from the, the career um, it's not functional by the way I did try to use it but you cannot do anything with that board which is kind of sad um, but yeah that's basically it adding in you know some case files that she's working on um some clutter items here and there some books um and yeah that's basically it for the office and then here starting out with the master bedroom so i did had to cut down a little bit of the furnishing on the inside of the house and the reason why is uh, this video was again 50 minutes long <laughs> um it took me five hours to make this house and when i started this little project i was like why not start with you know a smaller lot a 40 by 40 that's not that large mona you can do that in two hours <laughs> and it ended up being five it's insane um there was just so many little details um that i wanted to implement also i was really indecisive in the beginning on uh, the living room colors i actually redid the living room four or five times until i was happy with the color combination that i was using um so yeah that also took up quite a lot of time um for me furnishing um but in the end i'm really happy i'm happy with the layout i'm happy with all the colors that i'm using throughout the house um, and i'm also loving the master bedroom so i decided to make uh the master bedroom again on the downstairs area um i made like a wardrobe section on the back end because this this bedroom was really large um i didn't really know what else to do than make like a wardrobe section and then a seating area in the middle and um, because i knew i wanted the bathroom to come there on the side i mean that is what i had envisioned when i was doing the exterior of the house i knew that was gonna be the bathroom um so it made it just made sense to 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 make the floor plan like I did, um, and then upstairs we're gonna go with three bedrooms and one small bathroom. <laughs> As you can see, the, the 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 upstairs is like really tiny, and that's because we are using so many roofs. You know, the roofs make it smaller. I'm making like this Dutch kind of looking roof on the exterior it's like no is it dutch i mean you see this type of of roof a lot in in holland um but it's also kind of hampton you like i think so i don't really know about the style but the roofs do take up a, a large portion of the of the floor plan upstairs so the bedrooms upstairs are kind of tiny and that's also the reason why i made the master bedroom downstairs um because i wanted you know 
this luxurious large feeling for mom and dad. I mean, it's their house. They needed the largest bedroom. Um, I mean, that is the most logical thing to do. Although, if you look at my house, my children have the largest bedroom. <laughs> Not me, they have them. Uh, at the beginning, it was only Selena. She had the largest bedroom. You can fit in three king-size beds in her bedroom. Um, and then Sadie had the smallest one. It only fitted in one single bed and a cabinet and a uh, desk. That's all that fitted in into her bedroom. Um, and then later on, they started sharing the bedroom. And then I, I made Sile Sadie's uh, bedroom into a office. But I have the second largest bedroom, which is fine. I mean, I don't really need that much space in my bedroom. I spend most of my times here in my office. I actually need a larger office. I would love an office, you know, with a coffee station so that I won't need to go downstairs. That would be so awesome. And then maybe a little reading nook with uh, a large bookcase. I have a large bookcase, but maybe a larger one with more books would be really nice. Um, yeah, that, that I think I would love that. I don't know why I'm talking about my office <laughs> because I'm getting way off track. Um, anyways, this is the master bathroom and I decided to place the uh, washer and dryer into the master bathroom because it didn't really fit into the bathroom that I made in the hallway which I actually didn't record I cut that out of the video but there is a bathroom in the hallway um, that was a little bit too tiny so I decided to place the washer and dryer in the master bedroom and I think it fits in really well so I also make um that uh, corner underneath the stairs functional. So I added in a litter box for your cats. I don't know if that's actual functional in real life because I didn't test it out. <laughs> I did test out the pond, so you can definitely fish there. But I forgot to test out the litter box. So if you download this from the gallery and uh, please test out the litter box if you are gonna have a cat, keep an eye on him. If he doesn't use it, you probably need to move it. But I think it's gonna be fine because when I place like a computer or a little seating area, underneath stairs, they usually are functional and I don't need to change a thing. So I don't know, but just a little heads up if you want to download it you know, keep an eye on your cat <laughs> that it doesn't run away because you didn't have a litter box for him or maybe it's gonna poop all over your house, which is gonna be a nightmare. Um, anyways, here starting with the second floor um, and we are furnishing the uh, teen girl's bedroom. So for the teen girl, I went with you know, the typical purple and pink because I just love doing that. Um, and I love this bedroom so much. If I had to choose a favorite bedroom, it's this one. I love the color combination. I love the wall that I made behind the bed frame. It's gorgeous, you know, with the uh, butterflies and then the mirror. I think that looks really nice. And I also love the vanity table that I made. So I pushed in um the the mirror so the mirror that came with the vanity table i actually pushed it into the wall and i placed the jungle adventures um mirror behind it as you can see and it makes it so much more luxurious uh, i mean i love I love the vanity table, but I find that the mirror looks a little bit meh. You know, I needed something more glamorous for some of the rooms. And this makes it definitely more glamorous in my book. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and then in here, furnishing uh, the little balcony area. I am going to add in an easel. The easel is, I think, now placed in the other balcony. But I'm gonna move it over here because the teen girl, she's gonna do a little bit of painting and artwork. And then uh, the child is gonna have her own uh, little um, activity table. I think it's like a drawing table that you get with the first pet stuff. I'm gonna add that onto the balcony there. So that's why I moved the easel. So here, furnishing the hallway, <laughs> decided to... Um, 
I don't know why I'm doing this, but it just made sense to make, you know, a little nook with a painting and some lights on the wall. And then here I'm going to add in a computer. So there's a computer downstairs that is for mommy. And then the computer upstairs, that is for the children. So they are going to make their homework here. This is their little area, their little seating area. Uh, mom and dad, uh, of course, they do come upstairs because they need to clean the house. But this is the upstairs is for the children. Definitely. Uh, they spend the most time here. Um, I made a little seating area right there. They have Hemi the hamster as well. <laughs> because they also wanted a pet instead of a cat and a dog. They wanted, you know, something a little bit extra. So they got a Hemi the hamster uh, for Christmas. <laughs> and his place is right there in the corner. He lives there. Um... So yeah, that's basically it. And then here furnishing uh, the kids' bedroom. So the kids' bedroom, um, this can be either for a boy or a girl. I didn't make it like gender specific. <laughs> it is blue though, because I just love uh, the blue wooden siding that I'm using. And then in combination with the rugs and the bed, I just loved it. I mean, I did try like four or five different color combinations and I did cut it out of the video. But I ended up with that blue. I'm just in love with this light kind of blue color lately. Um, I have been using it a lot. I do know that. <laughs> but I'm just loving it so much. Um, and until I get it out of my system, I will probably use it and overuse it a little bit more in upcoming builds but don't worry i will grow out of it like i always do in all my builds and then i'm gonna try something new don't worry <laughs> um so yeah that's basically it this house is almost finished we only need to furnish the toddler bedroom um Again, I needed to cut out a large piece because the video was just way too long. But you definitely can see what I am doing there. Um, so I did uh, go back into the kids bedroom for some clutter items. I totally forgot about that. And then here furnishing and finishing off uh, the toddler bedroom. So... Yeah, that's it. We're at the end of the video. So I'm hoping that you guys actually enjoyed this voiceover. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I did want to ask you guys um, some suggestions for upcoming videos. For the professions that you want The Sims to have in that house. So now I made like a private detective. Uh, across the street we have a veterinarian. I did like a jungle adventurous kind of office area. Um, let me know in the comment section below the video if there are any other suggestions that you guys want to see as professions. Also uh, what kind of interests do you want to see come true in the children's bedrooms, in the parents bedrooms for the upcoming builds. I would love to know your thoughts about that so i'm hoping that you all enjoyed the video leave your likes of course if you did and if this is the first time that you are watching it and you are liking what you're seeing don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so i'm hoping that you all are having an awesome day wherever you are and hopefully i will see you all in the next one bye bye <laughs>